Hey everyone, and welcome back to the project. I'm Ware Witch, and this is Harry. Greetings to all you immortal royalty, and good evening to my fellow creatures of the night. Well said, Harry. Today's video is going to be as quick as possible, showing you the Dracula's Relic Pack for V Rising. There are five DLCs that we're going to be covering in this mini-series. Let's get to the video. All right, so the Dracula's Relic Pack DLC is purely cosmetic. There is no pay to win with these packs. Some of the items that we'll be covering today will not be available to you until you reach certain points of progression within the game. So try to keep that in mind. We're gonna start right off with the uh, Immortal Dracula King's Drape, Cloak, and Mantle, along with the Immortal King's Great Helm, which I am wearing right now. As you can see, it's a pretty neat hat. It's all right, it's not my favorite, but if you're in that sort of thing, you like the gold, black, red design, uh, this is definitely the pack you're looking for. The cape is pretty cool though. I do like the cape. Let's make sure that we are showing this off appropriately. This one currently that we are wearing is the Immortal King's Drape. And next up is going to be the Immortal King's Cloak. As you can see, it's a little bit more tattered. I'm trying to get that to go just underneath the light. There you go, so you can see that detail on that. Pretty cool. Next up is the Immortal King's Mantle. And that's the fancy one, not torn up. I kind of like my capes shredded at the bottom. I don't know who that was. Wish he would go away. Go away, sir. There you go. Pretty cool stuff. All right, let's move right along. One moment here, make sure that I'm covering all these things appropriately. All right, so we are going to look next at the Royal Coffin. Oh, I probably should have brought a drink with me. Okay, now some of the lighting that I have in here, I've used the white lighting to make sure that you can see the colors on these. Understand that if you used a different type of color lighting, like this orange lighting over here on uh, the lights that come with this pack, uh, it, it would definitely give these a different color. But I wanted to make sure that you guys could see the definition and the details. Pretty cool bat design up at the top. Once again, black, gold, red pretty neat looks really good when it meshes in with the carpets on the floor tried to show these off as well these do come with the pack let's go ahead and head to the throne the floor tiles too by the way also come in this pack these are the royal pattern stone floors they're pretty neat I like them they've got the gold accent along the outside I use these a lot I think they're a good looking one this is the throne I did my best to get it lit up but there is a bat up here that you can see hopefully yeah I'm looking over yeah yeah you guys can see that pretty cool and it functions just like any other normal castle throne got these bitchin bat wings on the back we'll try to show off some of those details back there Let's go ahead and move it. Let's pull it forward. And get out of the bid build menu. And it is not wanting to show us those details now, is it? Let's see if we can shift it again. There we go, it's almost better while well, I've got it highlighted. We'll stick in the build menu so we can make sure that you can see those details. I'm gonna do my best not to hover onto it. But it's pretty cool. If you had this in the middle of the room, you would get to see those details as you move back and forth. Let's try to shift it forward again. There we go. That looks much better now. Let's go ahead and try to move that lighting to work with this as well. Uh, it's a little bit better. Not as happy as I could be with showing that off to you guys. My apologies. I like this throne. I think it's neat. Uh, I do like the coloring of it. I, I, I wish it was silver. I understand why it's gold. 
but I do wish that it was silver. This is not my favorite pack. Um, here are the stained glass windows. There are two variants of this and they just flip flop the collars. They are very cool. Uh, sadly though, I do not use them very often. I I'm not a big fan of gold. I think that's my, my problem with them. And I made sure to use the white lighting over here as well so you could see those collars. And then here is the other version over here. As you can see, they're just flip-flopped. Red at the top, black at the top. Very cool stuff. Okay, so we already went over the royal carpets. Here they are. Let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit so you can see those textures. They're pretty cool. I like those. Now, the this is the exterior royal walls wallpaper and also uh the pillars change on these because they're completely they're like something different right so you've got this is your interior which is really cool it's got like this gold gilding that comes up at the bottom and over here it's the same gilding again except it's like silver you know one's for exterior one's for interior i use this on damn near every single one of my castles except when i'm showing them off inside of these dlc packs i love this i think it just looks so much better than the default uh the black looks awesome the black gray outlines um that made this pack alone for me worth it um and i think i got it real cheap there was some deal on it when it first came out um but that is that. And then let's see if we've got a spot where it shows the pillar. And if it doesn't show, I will fix it. Oh, I think that is the pillar right there. Not the best lighting outside here. Is there something we can slap on there real fast to show you guys? Let's do that. Let's grab one of these. Let's do it in white. There you go. And we'll zoom in on that. I think the design is sick. I just am in love with the exterior um, wallpaper out of this pack. I think it's really, really cool. Okay, let's move on. Nothing me drooling over that. Okay, so you've got these wicked brassers, uh, and they come in all the different colors as well. Um, I've got them in red right here. Let me get out of this build menu, zoom in. You can see them in red. They've got these cool char pieces inside of them they're pretty awesome and they come in all colors and specifically why I'm showing those two is because on the Steam page it points it out so I'm gonna point it out too even though I believe most lights or all lights I could be wrong on this um, except for specific DLCs like the Haunted Castle pack uh, you can change all these colors now I think at the time that this was released they didn't uh, that was not an option but it is now so I think that's why they pointed that out. Okay, everyone, that covers this DLC for V Rising. If this video helped you decide whether or not to nab this one up, let us know in the comments. And if you want to see the other DLCs for V Rising, we'll have those in our V Rising playlist that should pop at the end of this video. If you enjoyed what you saw today, maybe slap that like button, subscribe, and feel free to share our videos with a friend. That stuff helps us out more than we could ever thank you for. We've got all kinds of content for V Rising on our channel and for the games that we play on the project. We've got tips, tricks, guides, full gameplay episodes with tips peppered into them as well. Yeah, it, and Witch has wasted all kinds of time playing V Rising too. L -l like what, 600 some odd hours? I'd prefer not to confirm or deny that. Uh, not as much as some other games, I'll say that. It so if you have any questions, leave those in the comments as well. That's right, H. I'm happy to help our community whenever I'm available. So with that being said, see you guys later. And th thanks for watching the video. I'm supposed to say that. You're, you're off script, man. I'll say whatever I want. No, dude, there's a format that we're trying to adhere to. Adhere to a doorman? Gross. I, Maybe it's time to I've, wash it then. I said format. Floor mat. Format. Rorschach? <laughs> you know, he's my favorite superhero. Never mind. <laughs>